Spanish Tertullian. I'm Armenian. Uh, my spirit name is Zawin, which means Gong Woman in the Forest of the Moons. And it was late in life that the, while my mother was dying that she told me that my grandmother was a sex slave in a Turkish harem. And Armenians deny uh, Armenian slavery. You don't hear much about it. You, you don't hear the auction blocks. You don't hear the slave brides. Um, I, I asked her why she didn't tell me about the genocide, the Armenian genocide by the Ottoman Turks in which two million Armenians were killed. And she said she didn't want to burden me. But you know what? I have been burdened all my life trying to find out information about this, this hidden information. And I'm currently dealing with intergenerational trauma. Um, this is a banner I made for the monument quilt, uh, which was uh, exhibited in Washington, D.C. and across the country about violence against women. And it has to do with my grandmother was this, had shame. She couldn't talk about it. My mother had um, you know, uh, post-traumatic stress and was, was very emotionally unavailable. And I have attachment disorder. And so this slavery, this slavery goes through generations. And I'm so honored to be here with uh, Raymond Nat Turner organizing this because today is my birthday. And I hate July 4th. I hate July 4th. I hate this conquerors, murderers, they call it a holiday, but it's, it's not a holiday. It's like a degradation of all the indigenous people they killed and, and shame on them. And thank God we're here today with this alternative uh, celebration of Shabbat Douglas's work. And um, in my community, uh, you know, after the genocide, it was so dis disability that um, my people, tried to deny their Asian heritage. We're, we're Western Asian, uh, Near East. They took us off the map, and in the United States, they decided to pass for white to get housing. And what happens when you, you deny your ancestral origins, your indigenous origins? Um, okay, you can't sit. Just jump into it. Okay, so anyway, I'm, I'm gonna, I, I thought that I would do multicultural solidarity, and Haiti had a slave revolt that I wanted my people to know about. So in Armenia there was an earthquake, and my friend was buried under the rocks for three days. So when the Haitian earthquake happened, I wrote a solidarity poem, and it goes like this. Quivering fingers. Quivering fingers are a sign of life stretching out from the coffins pressing on my breast. Come closer. Breathe your caring into me so I can inhale the sunrise. Mother Earth is also suffering under millions of tons of real estate developers rape concrete. She is crackling, exploding, tumbling, releasing into each other, becoming infinite particles in a scattered universe. Inside my eyelids, oceans roar. I am sailing on a raft with my bones. I am sailing on a raft with my bones. In the choppy seas, 240,000 Haitian bone rafts guided by the luminous skeleton parts of 100 million Africans killed in the Middle Passage, sunk deep in the Atlantic, our bones fuse crashing on the shores of the motherland, while the unnatural disasters of the conquerors, genocide, slavery, and poverty continue. In an instant, your life can change for the worse. In an instant, your life can change for the better. Ai bobo, Aiti. Hail to the spirits. Successful slave rebellion, voodoo queen, first black republic. Ai bo, Aiti shackled by corrupt governments backed by U.S. imperialism, but fragrant with the spirit of justice and rebellion, i.e. Bobo, Because in 1915, when the Turks were planning the Armenian genocide, the U.S. was invading Haiti and taking their, you know, half a million dollars from their bank and, and allowing uh, uh, U.S. citizens to buy Haitians' properties. So indigenous people have to stick together and learn each other's history. And not everyone that looks white is white. And I'm a light-skinned woman of color, and I'm in solidarity with all indigenous people. 